Hey guys, Vista Shy here, and today I'm going to be reacting to a little product that caught my attention on TV when the commercial kind of flew on by, and it's called the Bug Racer or the Cricket Race, whatever you want to freaking call it. All right, so <clears throat> I didn't see the whole commercial through because honestly, who the heck watches commercials, right? But something about it got me interested in it, and that's the fact that they get crickets inside the car for some reason, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Now, I couldn't find the actual commercial, so I found the next best thing, which is somebody actually going over the product and actually introducing the product to us, basically, so let us see what the guy has to say. I'll leave the link in the description, by the way. <laughs> One thing about being in the toy business, as long as I have you start to think you've seen everything, but you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've seen quite a lot, but this this is something different. You know what? You'd be wrong. Hi I was wrong. Why am I watching this, right? I'm Chris the Toy Guy from TTPM with one of the most outrageous, peculiar, and fun things we've seen yet. It's called Okay, I, I just wanna say this is not on the product, but that guy, his voice reminds me of someone. I, I swear, it reminds me of someone from like a cartoon show or like a movie. I don't know what. It is on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Called the Bug Racer from Mattel, and it's completely twisted in the best way. It this is, is the kind of toy that would have fascinated me as a kid. And I have to add, I was the only person at TTPM who was willing to review it because it involves playing with live crickets. Totally. Okay, whoa, whoa. This, this is. This is the part that it's okay. So <clears throat> basically, what he is saying, okay, he wants us to buy this car, right? Then he wants us to go outside and kidnap freaking Roger the Cricket, or whatever his name is, the cricket from Disney movies. He wants us to put Roger the Cricket into the car and slave him so that he can go around the car, you know, driving the car around. And all of this stuff. That's basically what he's saying. I mean, that's, that's what I got to this point. Okay, so let us continue to see what else he says. Really awesome. So, what this is is a race car that's powered by crickets. Now, how could that be, you ask? Easy. I'll get to that in just a moment. Let's start out with the basics. This is a battery operated car that takes four right, AA so batteries. batteries. New batteries are highly recommended. Turn it on and put it through its paces with. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold. If it's powered by batteries, why do you need the cricket? Okay? Honestly, like... Oh, God. Without insect friends, but of course, it's much more fun with. So, you get your cricket sold separately from the pets... Okay, so... Instead of just going outside, you want us to go to the pet store and buy the freaking crickets, right? Like, who the... Hold up, man. Like, oh, God. How did this even make it to the freaking market? That is my question. Okay, did they even think about this? Because nowadays people are scared of bugs. What makes you think that they want to play with crickets? I mean, honestly. But Jesus, man. Oh, my God. And not only that, they want us to go outside and spend some time either buying a cricket or spend like freaking five hours trying to find one. Okay? See, this is what people don't think, man. This, this is what makes me so angry. Alright? Jesus Christ. Store. They're about a dime a piece. Put them in a secure con. A cricket is about a dime, a piece. What is wrong with people, man? Oh my God! Container and remove the collection device from the back of the habitat. Catch the cricket in the collection device and place it back into the habitat. It opens and releases the cricket. By the way, the habitat has a magnifying panel so you can look at your cricket up close before you put him to work. Move the cricket into the control room at the front of the habitat, and you're ready to go. Turn on the car and press the bug button. Okay, this just looks like slave meant for the fucking cricket, okay? The cricket. The, the cricket. I can't say cricket for some reason, but it looks like you're slaving the freaking cricket, for God's sake. Come on, Come on man. Jesus. And by the power switch to move between modes. In the first mode, which you enter by pressing the bug button one time. Okay, you know what? You're just trying to give the freaking cricket a seizure now. What's with the light, man? Jesus. Motion sensors know where the cricket is and move the car in response as the cricket moves. The okay, so motion sensors apparently know where the cricket is, so it moves the car 
according to where the cricket is positioned. If, if this was a real car out in the highway, get the fuck out of the highway because this cricket is about to run your ass over like no tomorrow. Man. Seriously, if this was a real car, oh man, we're all fucked, we're all screwed, it's, it's over. The second drag race mode requires a second bug racer sold separately. In auto drive mode, you don't need the cricket and the car drives itself. Wait, what? If you don't need the cricket, then what's the point for the... Why? Why? How did this even make it to the market? Jesus. Why are people so stupid? Why? Redirecting if it bumps into things. And in light show mode, the car doesn't move. It just... You are trying to give the cricket a seat, German. Oh my god, dude. Why? Why you gotta be so mean to Roger the cricket? I mean, Jesus Christ. You're trying to give the poor cricket a heart attack. If it wasn't bad enough that he was in that little cage trapped, but now you're gonna give him a freaking heart attack? Come on, man. Come on. Lights up as you watch your crickets move around or dance. No, lights up as you watch the cricket suffer and have a heart attack or seizure, man. Come on, man. One thing we did notice, and which wasn't completely clear in the directions, was that you have to pause and let the car cycle through the setup for each mode before pushing the bug button to advance to the next one. You can also adjust the volume for each mode by pressing and holding the bug button on the side. The habitat is designed so you can keep and feed your crickets in it, and you can open it easily to clean it out. You do want to be aware of the fact that the crickets are living things, so treat them carefully. Oh, no. <laughs> now you want to be aware of the fact that the cricket is a living thing, and now you want to treat them carefully? How about you just don't put them in the freaking car? I'm so good, man. I'm so good. I'm so good, man. Let's continue. They will have about a week in captivity. The instructions also include some care tips for your crickets. Now, we know there are lots of moms and dads who are going to be freaked out by this and not want to let crickets in the house. Well, that's okay. This works outside, too. We were just completely excited by the creativity and off-the-wall fun this provides and... Okay, let me just say... This is not creative, okay? Literally, this is not freaking creative. Who the heck even came up with this invention? Literally, what's creative about freaking putting a bog in a freaking car? Like, I understand this is supposed to be fun for the pet cricket, but it, it doesn't look like fun, dude. It is not, okay? It, it's not. The cricket is probably just having a heart attack in the freaking light show that you just created for him. Freaking having a seizure and be like, Ugh, and stuff like that. I don't get this, man. Like, seriously. I, I, I don't. And the way it leverages kids' fascination with bugs and a really great vehicle. From one this toy, including what it... If I was a cricket, man, in my opinion, I would just freaking hate you. <laughs> I would hate you. I would be like, what the fuck? Where am I? You know? I would be so panicking right now. I swear to God. Cost and where to buy. Find us at TTPM. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great toy reviews every day. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Oh, wait, there's some more here. Uh, see videos every day. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, that's good. Oh, God. Well, let, me just, let me just think here. My first thought is, why is this even on sale? I mean, honestly, like, I get it. It's supposed to be a pet fun thing. But that cricket doesn't look like it's having fun, to be honest. And second... Who the heck wants to spend time getting a freaking cricket just so they can put into this car that they just bought, okay? Like, really? When the car, when he clearly said that you can play with the car and not need the cricket by putting it in a different mode. Why just buy... <sighs> oh my god, this is why people, this is why I lose faith in people, man. This is why I look faith in humanity. This is why I don't... Ugh. God. Jesus Christ. Okay. What else did he say in there? 
um, a dime for a cricket. A dime for a cricket, honestly. Why, why, this is why people are so stupid these days, man. Like, seriously. Like, I'm still thinking why is this in the freaking market? I mean, honestly, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is worth it? I mean, honestly, like, let me know down below in the comments because I seriously want to know. Like, if you guys got another point of view, then by all means, please just leave it down in the comments, okay? I can't take this crap anymore. Oh, God. Guys, I I'm so down, alright? Just like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next React video if I make another one. I don't know. This is. I'm already losing hope. I'm already losing hope. This is like my second, maybe third React video that I've ever done and I'm already losing hope so if you guys want me to do another one just leave a freaking like Jesus Christ I'm done I'm done bye peace